solids may be divided into two main groups one polyhedra and two solids of revolution polyhedra a polyhedron is defined as a solid bound by planes called faces when all the faces are equal and regular the polyhedron is said to be regular there are seven regular polyhedra which may be defined as stated below one tetrahedron it has four equal faces each an equilateral triangle two cube or hexahedron it has six faces all equal squares three octahedron it has eight equal equilateral triangles as faces four dodecahedron it has 12 equal and regular pentagons as faces five icosahedron it has 20 faces all equal equilateral triangles six prism this is a polyhedron having two equal and similar faces called its ends or bases parallel to each other and joined by other faces which are parallelograms the imaginary line joining the centers of the bases is called the axis a right regular prism has its axis perpendicular to the bases all its faces are equal rectangles 7 pyramid This is a polyhedron having a plane figure as a base and a number of triangular faces meeting at a point called the vertex or apex. The imaginary line joining the apex with the center of the base is its axis. A right regular pyramid has its axis perpendicular to the base which is a regular plane figure. its faces are all equal isosceles triangles oblique prisms and pyramids have their axes inclined to their bases prisms and pyramids are named according to the shape of their bases as triangular square pentagonal hexagonal etc solids of revolution cylinder a right circular cylinder is a solid generated by the revolution of a rectangle about one of its sides which remains fixed it has two equal circular bases the line joining the centers of the bases is the axis it is perpendicular to the bases cone a right circular cone is a solid generated by the revolution of a right angled triangle about one of its perpendicular sides which is fixed it has one circular base its axis joins the apex with the center of the base to which it is perpendicular straight lines drawn from the apex to the circumference of the base circle are all equal and are called generators of the cone the length of the generator is the slant height of the cone sphere a sphere is a solid generated by the revolution of a semicircle about its diameter as the axis the midpoint of the diameter is the center of the sphere all points on the surface of the sphere are equidistant from its center oblique cylinders and cones have their axes inclined to their bases frustum when a pyramid or a cone is cut by a plane parallel to its base thus removing the top portion the remaining portion is called its frustum truncated when a solid is cut by a plane inclined to the base it is said to be truncated 